Hi everybody, welcome back. If you've been following along with my past few videos, you know that my name is Leah Palmer and I'm pursuing a career in art conservation. And to that end, I've been completing conservation internships in various cultural heritage institutions, such as the National Park Service in Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, and at the Field Museum in Chicago, Illinois. For my third and final pre-program internship, I've been working for about a year as a postgraduate associate at Yale University. So come join me for a work week in my life as a pre-program intern at Yale. So I work at Yale's Institute for the Preservation of Cultural Heritage, which is a research institute on Yale's West Campus, dedicated to promoting the preservation and interpretation of material culture both at Yale and around the world. It's comprised of a few different labs, but I work in the Technical Studies Lab, or TSL, where we use analytical instrumentation to ask and answer questions about the materials that actually make up artworks. I spent Monday morning with a few of my supervisors checking up on Yale Art Gallery's Microfade Tester, or MFT, which is an instrument that helps conservators and curators know how long it will take for an artwork to fade due to light. While downtown, I also visited Yale's ornithology collection. One of my supervisors was very interested in seeing if there were any taxidermy pieces that would be interesting to image using TSL's new volumetric radiography system known as Digitome. So Digitome is a cheap, quick, non-invasive way to obtain a three-dimensional x-ray of an object, which can be super helpful in answering questions about the interior structure of that object. There were a lot of um, fascinating things here. So my supervisor ended up imaging a mummified falcon and using Digitome's technology, he was able to figure out exactly what species this was. I briefly stopped by Morris Recital Hall to watch a performance from resident quartet. And then I got to play some spike ball with some friends on old campus. On Tuesday, I went to the Hume Furniture Study, which is a large room chock full of American furniture from the early revolutionary days through to the present. So this place and the objects inside of it are open to researchers who are curious about the materials and structure and history of American furniture. So here I'm using a pen drill to retrieve samples of a walnut drawer, which I will soon be running through PyGCMS, as you'll see later. So I took samples from dozens of objects in the Hume Study Collection. But beyond taking actual physical samples, I also examined the pieces of furniture using laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy, or LIBS. So LIBS is an instrument that quickly provides elemental information about an object. And this is part of a larger study which is attempting to see if an algorithm trained on LIBS data can help us reliably distinguish mahogany from other look-alike woods, like walnut. So on Tuesday nights, some New Haven bars will host jazz bands, and I tried to make it out to a few of them, and I love them not only because do we have like bands playing, but also the second half of the night, members of the New Haven community can bring their instruments and come on stage and just jam out with each other in rotation, and there's always so much skill on display. Wednesday was another main campus day, so I started out at Yale Center for British Art where I TA a class called Paint, led by two Yale paintings conservators. This class took place both in YCBA, the British Art Center, and across the street at the Art Gallery, where pff, my friend Monica encountered my Yale celebrity cush, PJ France, who writes really good music, and she was like, oh my gosh, my friend is in love with you, and Mans totally has a whole girlfriend. Anyway, this is us in the gallery looking at paintings. So uh, we headed back to YCBA's Painting Conservation Lab, and this class focused on the physical material properties of paint from its early iterations made out of soils and binders up through the synthetic paints that we use today. And I really learned a lot about the historical painting techniques and the stratigraphy of paintings themselves. I headed back to West Campus to take some pictures for IPCH's social media, which I've been gradually like taking over throughout my time here. And this week we were working on a week-long campaign about pigments. So here I'm taking a few pictures of raw materials that pigments were made out of. I think this is Brazil wood and cochineal beetles. I wrote up some captions for these pictures, all of which you can see on at Yale IPCH on Instagram. Give us a follow. Anyway, 
Anyway, on Wednesday nights, my favorite East Rock coffee shop, Gather, hosts open mic nights, so I hit that up with a few of my friends. And there's this like folkish band group that always opens and they always kill. Everybody's so good. And the saxophone child, Nans was absolutely shredding. What an icon. So Thursday, I ran the samples that I took from the Hume Furniture Study as promised. And here I'm preparing them to be put through PyGCMS, or Pyrolysis Gas Chromatography Mass Spectrometry. So right now I am flaming a small metal vessel to cleanse it of any impurities, and then I'm going to be weighing out approximately 300 micrograms of the wood sample that I will put into the PyGCMS instrument. So, PyGCMS is an analytical technique where an organic sample, like a binding medium or a lacquer, or in my case wood, is pyrolyzed or incinerated in order to break down large molecules into smaller ones. After these molecules are separated, they are carried through a narrow tube or a column, and as the molecules flow through the column, they each pass through it at different rates, depending on qualities like structure and size and chemical properties. The molecules are then subjected to mass spectrometry, a process that can identify these molecules based on their mass to charge ratio. And the result of all of this is that we get a fairly definitive molecular fingerprint of the organic sample that we put through PyGCMS. And so this is me while the sample is running, reading a book about mechanical properties of artworks and conservation materials for a conference that I'm going to. Thursday evening, I made the insane decision to take the Amtrak to NYC to see one of my favorite comedy groups, and while on the train, I worked on an embroidery commission that I had been procrastinating on. Oh my gosh, I'm so quirky. I don't even remember what book this is. Anyway, I also tuned into a, a bi-weekly research talk where a post-grad associate discussed her project that she was working on at Yale. Um, super interesting. But I made it to Grand Central Station, and then I hightailed it to Brooklyn. I like ran to this little pub situation, and I made a friend before the show started. That was fun. And then I saw Please Don't Destroy of SNL fame. Such icons. So answer every question to the best of your ability. This is me on the train. I'm delirious at this point. It's probably midnight. I was so tired, man. I got back to Grand Central, hit the Amtrak to go back to New Haven. I was definitely the last person on the train when I got to my stop. I'm never doing that again. Glad I did it. That was horrific, though. Great show. It's Friday. Thank God. No, anyway, we often have tour groups that come through the labs to hear about the research that we're doing. So today I'm presenting on a research project that's headed up by a conservator at Yale British Art Center. And she's interested in the exchange of artist materials under the East India Trading Company, particularly uh, the exchange of maybe Indian yellow from Indian artists to English artists. So our lab has been trying to discover the best ways to definitively identify Indian yellow in an artwork which is especially difficult when it's mixed with other pigments, but a sort of surefire way to identify it is via UV fluorescence. So one of the things I'm gonna do on the tour is do this and show how uh, Indian yellow fluoresces. Anyway, I didn't film the tour, but this is what I do on my Friday nights. I uh, hit up Griffin's, which is a Yale subsidized pub that has very cheap drinks and sometimes karaoke. Anyway, <laughs> that's my week. I have had a really amazing time in New Haven, getting to know the various postgrads at Yale. Everybody's always doing something super interesting. Um, everybody's so driven and going amazing places. Uh, and I've had a great time uh, in my research, learning about the material properties of uh, cultural heritage and how we inquire after that using analytical techniques. So if you have any questions, please hit me up and thank you so much for watching.